Uh, when I go for the pass on this position, okay, I'm grabbing the belt, grabbing the pants, okay? So I cannot be with my weight on my legs too much, okay? So if I'm here, okay, with my chest, in the line of my knees, my weight is on my feet, okay? So I need to lean forward, okay? And when you lean forward, like your opponent will frame, right? That will allow you to have like a lighter legs. And also, you don't want to start like with him with both sides of his hips on the floor, okay? So every time you pass, you gotta turn him a little bit, okay? So I tilt him a little bit to the side and then I go, okay? So that's why when I'm here, I step. So I tilt him to one side. Notice that this part of his hips is off the mat right now. So I lean forward. Now I do the transition, like the windshield wiper move. And I land on my toes. And I land like this, belly down. I don't land with my belly like that. Okay? Neither, I don't do, I don't drop my knee on the floor. Because then if you don't escape the hips, it's hard for me to chase him like this. Okay? So I'm here, that's how I move a little bit, I feel, so I go one, two. If you escape the hips right now, I can follow him, easy. You can go even to a leg drag, okay? So now just play, play a little bit. So you go, see, so step, then go, go back. Step, then go. Okay, do like a deep step, okay, deep step and then Put your weight on him so then you can wipe your legs. Okay? A little faster right now. A little bit faster. One, two, three. All right. So next one. Uh, now we're going to be on our knees like this. Okay? We're going to do two positions here. Two, two ways to wipe the leg. Okay? He opened the legs like this. I feel that his leg is open. We're going to go one, two. We wipe the leg like this. You see? So every time that I'm fighting and I feel that his leg is open, I always try to go like this, okay? So I still between his legs, let's say, but my leg is not trapped, okay? So easy that I can start jump to the side. So sometimes my opponent might even feel that I, that I hop his leg, okay? So I go one, two, okay? We go one leg like this, and the other one is gonna go for the knee he's gonna play the lahiba guard. Like reverse the heat, okay? I'm gonna control his collar, control his knee. Here. I'm gonna move him to the other side, put my elbow inside, turning this way. When I'm moving this way right here, I'm gonna pin my, pinch my knees, and I'm gonna hop over his shin. Okay? Sometimes when I try to X pass, he's Especially guys, long legs like Dom, they follow me with the hook. Like, you know, it's hard for me to pass the leg over like this. Or if I go over like this, he's gonna follow me with the hook and even like sweep me like that, okay? So sometimes if you wanna free your leg, the best thing to do is just hop over with your shin, over his toe, his toes, like this, okay? So on this one, I'll be like knee cut, reverse the hip, elbow inside, turn in, sink his knee between my legs, okay? Look that my hand is here, okay? I go, pinch my knees, and then I hop to the leg there, okay? Knee on the floor, get out. I can do like three times this, okay? This is movement, okay, and then I go here. And I do three times this. Knee on the floor. Knee shield, you got the shield here. One. Two, sorry. No. Look, if it's trapping your leg, okay, you need to move your leg this way, okay? But then you need to stretch his leg. I need to make this with this, with this leg before I hop over. So, is my foot going that way and his leg going this way? So how I do that? I use the inside part of my knee to push his leg this way. 
And the bottom side of my, my leg, walk this way. But I go like this. See? Try to bend your leg on. It's hard, see? So not good. Alright? And the fight is really fast. It's like, like this. Try to not do like, like this, okay? Try to be like, like, just jump with your shin, like this, okay? And stay close, tight. Don't use much your knees on the floor, on the, on the second group, okay? Three and three, three and three, and then we go for a minute and a half each, okay? Two minutes actually, go. One, two, three. All right, so, there's a very famous pass that calls like over under pass, right? Which is like over, uh, over, sorry, under, right? One arm is over the leg, the other arm is under, okay? Um, and you need to sink his knee between your legs here, like this, okay? And then you're gonna be on this position here. But sometimes, when you're here, uh, your opponent can go with the hand inside and start dragging to the side and start taking your back or even go for a crucifix. Or even when you pass here, you can start like tossing it to the side like this. You end up sweeping you, right? All because this leg is free, okay? So what are you gonna do here? We're gonna press with pressure, okay? Like I said before, uh, if I find someone that likes to play reverse de la riva, de la riva, the best way for me to shut down their guard is like dropping my knees here, okay? So when I have my knees on the floor, there's no de la riva or reverse de la riva. It only happens because I stand up my knee off the floor like that, okay? So I drop my knees on the floor and I'll be here. In a lot of situations, I'll be here. Sometimes I got the half guard, they push me, and they got like right here, okay? Usually, they keep the leg open sometimes, or sometimes like close the leg like that. We work on this like last class, right? Like pushing the leg here, going out, and then go for the leg drag, right? Or even trapping his leg here, like this way to compression past his guard, okay? Right now, it's you're gonna cross the leg right on your shoulder here. So I'm gonna control either the pants or the pelt, okay? The pants is safer, right? You put like four fingers inside his pants right here, okay? Like this. Now look, it's a tricky part. So you need to put his, uh, his ankle right, on, right inside uh, your joint here, your elbow, okay? Because if you go here, he's gonna move his leg. So you need to trap his leg like this. So you push his leg away, stretch your arm, and trap. Look, when you stretch your arm, his, his uh, ankle will be right on your elbow here. And now look, you fold your arm like this and trap his leg. Okay, now try to work with your leg. No, it's really hard for you to work with his leg, okay? If you fought with someone that likes to do this fast, it's really hard to, to move after they trap your leg, okay? So again, so I'm here. I don't have much time because Dom, he can grab my pants and start tossing me that way, okay? Take advantage of the grip on the pants here, okay? To pull his hips towards you when you try to go for the X guard. Because he needs to put this side of his butt on the floor to go for the X guard. So put your side, like, look, you see that his butt touched the floor there? And then put on the X guard, okay? But if I keep this off the mat, go Dom. And I start pulling up, it's hard for him. Try to turn your hips the other way though. It's really hard, okay? So you grab here. Now look, you're gonna push his knee, okay? Outside, towards his chest, okay? And at the same time, I'm gonna stretch my arm. It needs to be really fast, like this. So I trap his leg, okay? In the fight, I cannot go like, like this, right? So I need to go fast. So I push against his chest and out and then I stretch my arm away and then go okay to the position so once I trap I put my head in a way that I can see my hand okay like this now with this hand right here I'm gonna control his knee okay facing my hand down and grab right here like this okay strong grip Sometimes his knee is gonna be on the way like this too, okay? When you go here in this position, you're gonna put your chest on, on him 
and sink his leg between your legs. Like really fast. Okay? And once I sink his knee between my legs, I don't need to control his pants. But if I like, I can keep my pant, my grip here. No problem. Okay? One thing that I need to be careful right now is the Kimura. Okay? Don't can go for the Kimura here. And a lot of people they got Kimura trapped here when they do this. Right? So you need to close your elbow and grab here. Go for the Kimura dome. It's harder. So if your elbow goes away from your body, that's when you get the Kimura. Or the underhook. Sometimes the underhook, your arm will go for the arm bar like this. Okay, so keep tight. Okay, chicken wing. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, go here. Once I trap his knee between my legs, I don't do this. Okay, because then he can follow me with his hook. Especially guys with long legs. Okay? Pinch your knees, take your knees off the mat. You don't need to be like this. Stay in a plank position. Walk towards the side of his legs and then wipe your leg just the way you learn and put your knee under his leg. Okay? Once I'm here, there's two things I can do. One is underhooking his arm and grab four fingers inside his powder. Okay? This will work actually when you frame and try to sit up. Like this. You can go here, sit up. No. Here, you push it back and then keep here. Tip toes on the mat, control him. Sometimes when you try to go for the underhook, he's gonna frame and push your arm. Push my arm, like this. I'm gonna swing my arm over really fast, like this, okay? And notice that this grip is still there. Try to work with the leg though, it's hard. Okay, now I move close to his armpit, then I can let go and the cigar, okay? Again, so I'm here. So let's say I didn't gain this this part yet, so he's here. So I control his pants or the belt, push, okay, his knee and go trap, okay. One, I'm pushing, going away a little bit, and then trap. Boom. Look to my hand, put my shoulder on the mat, shift your way, sink his knee inside. Now I go here. Sometimes the person bottom will escape the hips face to me though, like this. Okay? You can use this hand here to grab his whole muscle and twist his muscle. Like this. Okay? So you make this part of his hips on the floor. Okay, this part right here. So if you have if I have my hand off the mat, it's, it's going to be hard for me to wipe my leg, so I got to twerk him. When my hand touches the floor, I move my leg, look, pinch the knees, look, just the way we learn. Step one, hop over the toes. Step two, put your knee under. Step three, under hook, and then go and slide your head on his chest. Then, once you staple his shoulder with your shoulder, you get the side control and hold. You guys got it. You don't need to uh, be uh, too fast to go for the side control. The most important is to get on the side first and then your opponent to start like fighting like crazy and then you hold, 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 hold. Wait! Once you feel like he's kind of like tired of pushing you, then you make the transition, okay? Last one. So I grab his pants, I'm here. Don't be spy with me, maybe frame here. I go, go here. One, two, sink, walk, torque his muscle. Move, Dom, in the fight. Don't let go. Once you stop, then I go. Okay, because that leg that's trapped here will give you a lot of security there. So it's hard for him to escape, okay? So let's work on the three bump, four bump rule. After the guy pass her guard, do like three, four bumps, and then let him finish the pass, okay? Any questions? All right, let's go, one, two, three.